Philadelphia police warning car owners to be on alert amid a string of car break-ins and vandalisms across the city. Our Seanette Wilson has the new video. Police say citywide we are down a thousand theft from autos, but we still have more than 6,000 car break-ins and it is happening all over the city. Surveillance video police released today shows a suspect in car break-ins from the 2200 block of Sansom Street on Sunday when three cars had windows smashed. Stuff was reported stolen from two of them. It happened between midnight and 9.45 a.m. Another video police say shows persons of interest on May 23rd and 30th, where numerous vehicles' windows were broken on Pennsylvania Avenue. And so far, police have 55-year-old Isaac Tate in custody for three break-ins on North 5th Street in June. I mean, I think it's definitely encouraging to see that, you know, police are taking an action to try to figure out what's actually going on. Um, but I do think it's kind of a larger problem than what's kind of at the surface. Uh, Matthew Brown and his wife Allie Bloomer are victims of a car break-in too. But they live in South Philly, where about two weeks ago, the windows of 19 cars were smashed along Washington Avenue. They immediately stopped using free parking on Washington Avenue, where they say there are fewer security cameras. We actually just went and got um, one of the parking permits to be able to park in the permitted areas. So we are now parking on our street. We reported on similar incidents in Fairmount, where at least six cars were vandalized and in Center City where more than a dozen cars windows were smashed on the 22nd Street between Market and Arch. There's no pattern. Uh, if they hit a neighborhood, they're often gone out of that neighborhood quickly. Police say they take change, wallets, documents with personal information, or nothing at all. In one area of North Broad Street, police say they've seen 15 incidents with something more serious stolen. Some of the in this area the guns are being taken. That's an absolute no-no. So I don't care if you have a permit to carry or not, not permitted to keep that in your car. Police say if your car is broken in and nothing is stolen, you should still call them and make a report. Shauna Wilson, Fox 29 News.